this is how our command is gonna be looking like after the episode so let's say you have 20 messages from two different members in one channel but you only want to delete five messages from one member in this example we're gonna be using links as the member so we're gonna type slash clear we're gonna select the amount which is five messages and here with the optional option we're gonna select target and select links now we're gonna hit enter and like you see it deleted the last five messages of links now if you want to clear the whole channel we're gonna type clear a hundred for example and we know for sure that there isn't a hundred messages in this channel there is 16 messages we're gonna hit enter and the bot will automatically calculate how many messages it deleted and it will send the actual size of the messages that it deleted so let's go ahead and start out all right so before we start with the episode i just want to make sure that uh, to let you know that i'm using my own command handler from the episode previously created if you want to go ahead and look at it click on the card up to the right of your screen and you should be good to go first of all we're going to go to our commands folder and we're going to create a new category and call it moderation now we're going to create a new file inside of that category and we're going to call it clear.js and here we're going to grab a couple of objects from the discord.js package so we're going to type const we can leave the object empty and require discord.js now we can grab the command interaction and the message embed because they're the only um, parameters that we will be needing for this episode now we're going to model.exports the name of the command is going to be clear obviously here you can set your own description and now here we can set our permission for this command which i'm gonna set to be manage underscore messages and if i wrote this wrong our validation system in our command handler will automatically let me know now here we're gonna start with the options so the first option is gonna be called amount to specify the amount of messages so let's say set it set the name of it to be amount and here you can set your own description the type of the amount is gonna be in number and it's gonna be forcedly required because we would need an amount to uh, clear messages now for our second option is gonna be target here you can set your own description the type of it is gonna be user and it's not gonna be required it's defaulted by false but you can make sure to set it as false so it's completely not required now we're gonna put a comma at the end of this array of options and we're gonna execute interaction and create a code block and we're gonna put async before execute because we're gonna be using the await function now we're gonna go under the array again and require our parameter for command interaction just like this now we're gonna grab a couple of objects from the interaction object so we're gonna type grab const or we're gonna type const channel options equals interaction so we don't have to type interaction.channel or interaction.options every time we want uh, some information so now we're gonna define the amount so we're gonna type const amount equals to options.get number and we're gonna get it from the amount option and here we're gonna define the target so const target equals options dot get member we're gonna get it from the target option all right so now we're gonna define the messages and we're gonna be doing so by fetching the messages in that channel so we're gonna type const messages equals await channel sorry channel dot fetch or sorry channel dot messages dot fetch and this is how we fetch the messages inside of that channel uh, now we're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna uh, create our embed so we're gonna type const response equals new message embed and we're gonna set the color of it to be whatever we want i'm gonna say it, set it to be uh, this one for example all right so here we're gonna check if uh, the interaction member selected the target so if target if they didn't select the target then it's gonna return null that means that uh, the member didn't select the target so we're gonna open a command block and here we're gonna let i equals to zero and by the way before we continue i have to give a huge shout out 
Kevin Vogt, he saw the issue in our previous clear command from the old series and he was kind enough to uh, fix it and send me the fix to provide to you guys. So huge shout out to Kevin, uh, a member of the TKF community. Uh, please go ahead to the description, click on his GitHub and give him some love. Thank you, Kevin. And let's continue on with the video. All right, so we're gonna exit out of this line. And now here we're gonna uh, create an array of the filtered messages. So we're gonna type const filtered equals to an array an empty array which we're gonna be pushing the message the, the filtered messages to that array all right so once we have done that uh, we're gonna type uh, inside the rounded brackets await messages so we're gonna await the fetch of the messages over here and then dot filter to filter the messages and we're gonna give the m variable to the message to each message in that uh, fetch we're gonna create an error function and open up another block and here we're gonna check so if m.author if the message.author id is equal to the target.id and if the amount is greater than the index which is zero then we're gonna create a code block and here we're gonna type filtered.push we're gonna push to that filter to that empty array the message all right, and then we're gonna tap I plus plus we can add on to that index all right so once that is done um, we're gonna go down one more line over here and here we're gonna type await channel dot uh, we're gonna bulk delete so bulk delete we're gonna provide the filtered array we're gonna set it to be true so we shake for uh, messages older than 14 days so we don't get an error and then we, here we're gonna type dot then so after we have deleted after we have bulk deleted the messages we're gonna type messages and create an error function and here we're gonna change the uh, description of this uh, template embed that we uh, wrote so we're gonna type response dot set description here we can add a simple emoji for example the broom and here we're gonna type cleared messages dot size from target pretty simple so we have cleared this amount of messages from that target member and now we're gonna uh, interaction dot reply with that response embed so embeds we're gonna pass in the response inside of the embeds array and now we should be done with the target uh, message deletion now here we're gonna type else so if the target wasn't provided then we're assuming that the user wants to clear the channel uh, messages so else we're gonna await channel dot bulk delete here we're gonna provide the amount directly and set it to true and we're gonna make the same concept here so dot then messages create an error function and here we're gonna take this paste it here and just remove the target and type from this channel all right and now we're gonna reply with the same error uh, embed but uh, with a changed description so that should be it for your clear command now let's restart our bot and try it out so we're gonna do clear the console and then we're gonna restart our bot and like you see here the clear command successfully loaded uh, so let's go to our discord and let's type one two three four five six wherever and let's say i want to only delete three messages which is gonna be four five and six now i'm gonna type slash clear amount 3 and select the target which is leaks and like you see here it deleted these messages now let's spam this let's make my bot say hello for example uh, now we have this amount of messages now i'm gonna type slash clear uh, for example um, 100 and i'm not gonna select the target so now you see here that uh, we cleared eight messages from the channel so thank you guys for watching special shout out to kevin for helping me out with this command please go ahead and check him out on his github the link in the description i hope to see you in the next episode